Hi everyone, Succulents Box here again, and today we will show you how to properly care for a relatively rare succulent called Haworthia cooperi. Caring for Haworthia cooperi is easy. In fact, if you are someone who loves to travel a lot but wants to add a touch of nature to your office space, dorm rooms, and windowsills, then this is the most suitable plant for you as it can grow in neglect. When it comes to light, Haworthia cooperi is a bit shy compared to the other sun-loving succulents. To be specific, this plant needs at least four to five hours of bright indirect morning sun a day to grow happily. This means that you need to find a shaded spot to grow your Haworthia cooperi outdoors, like under the partial shade of a tree, rock, or other objects. If kept indoors, place it in an area where it can get at least three to four hours of bright light a day, like at least three feet away from an east-facing windowsill indoors. A south or western-facing windowsill will do as long as it is protected from direct sunlight. In terms of temperature, Haworthia cooperi likes it around 68 to 72 Fahrenheit, but can also do well from around 50 Fahrenheit. So if you're growing yours outdoors but are located in a zone where the temperature tends to drop below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, we highly recommend planting this succulent in a pot or container where it can easily be moved indoors for protection from any freezing injuries. Since Haworthia cooperi comes from dry climates, it can tolerate prolonged dryness. In other words, it needs less water compared to most houseplants. To be specific, from spring to fall, water your Haworthia cooperi thoroughly at least once every seven to 10 days, whenever the top inch of its soil feels dry. But during winter, where this plant enters its dormancy period, cut back your watering to once a month using lukewarm water. Just keep in mind that it's easier to save an underwatered succulent than an overwatered one. So, whenever you are in doubt about whether it's time to water your Haworthia cooperi or not, it's always better to not water. Just like any other succulents, Haworthia cooperi also needs sandy soil that has excellent drainage. You can either buy potting mix made from growing cacti or succulents, then just add perlite or pumice to promote better drainage, or make your own blend by combining potting soil, coarse sand, and perlite or shredded bark in equal parts. Haworthia cooperi are also very easily propagated, especially from a leaf. To do this, you simply need to cut a few healthy leaves from the soil end of a pest-free mother plant. Next is to let the leaves callus by laying them on a surface for at least a day. Then, once they formed a callus, place the leaves in a tray with a fresh, moist potting mix. Make sure you give them space by putting them at least two inches away from each other. Make sure to place your leaves in a shaded spot, and don't forget to mist the soil with water once every two days in the morning to keep it moist. Repotting your Haworthia cooperi shouldn't be done frequently. In fact, there are only two main reasons why you would need to do it. The first one is when the soil can no longer drain the water fast enough, and the second reason is if you want to plant it together with your other succulent collection. Now, the procedure is repotting your Haworthia cooperi is easy. Start by removing the small clumping succulents from its container and shaking off any excess soil. Once done, you can now plant your Haworthia cooperi into its new pot, filling it with fresh cactus or succulent growing medium. After that, give it a deep, thorough watering and place it in a spot where it can get bright and direct sunlight. Also, it's always best to only repot your Haworthia cooperi in spring or early summer, as these are the times when the plant is less susceptible to stress. So that's it for today. Hope you guys can find these tips useful and helpful, and we'll see you again next time for more. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.